and welcome to another episode of Hot Hip and Happening. We're at Definition Fit today. I'm running a little late. I'm working out with Melanie. I heard she's a drill sergeant, so she's supposed to kick my butt. We'll see about that. Melanie? You're late. Get to work. Deadlifts. Do it. All right. One, two, three. Nice. Shoulder blades together. Uh-oh. I'm getting it. <laughs> Uh-oh is right. <laughs> All right, and go, guys. Straight go. Nice. They don't mess around up here in Definition Fit. The definition to kick your butt, that's what it is. Yeah, you're like. So what we're doing today is a lower body workout, and we're doing a little bit of circuit training. So high intensity, one exercise after the other to keep the heart rate up. We're using moderate weights right now. We use some heavy weights at the beginning, and you guys are done. He distracted me. Ah! <laughs> is that, see when you get past that bag right there? Uh -huh. You hang a left, and there's a door you can slide right out. It's the exit. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Knees and hips are bent, coming out to the side, and then together. Out to the side, and together. Go, you got this, Kyle. Nice. All right, butts down just a little bit further. There you go. Oh, yeah, I'm not. Yeah, she did say low, didn't she? She did say low. Well, right. <laughs> This is uncut and raw. But I wanted to ask you yes. and tell everybody, like, what is it that you do here at Definition Fit and what are your workouts? So as a trainer, I try to customize my workouts. So if somebody comes to me and they say, you know, I want to run a marathon, then we work on core training and we work on endurance. Um, you know, for people who want to get stronger, we lift heavier weights. And especially with classes like Girls Gone Strong, I try to really, um, take away that stigma of heavy weight lifting for women because I do find that a lot of women are scared of getting bulky or they don't want to you know get under the barbell they think they're gonna look like a man I personally don't think that I look like a man Negative. just Negative. saying no, no, no. By no so. means does she. <clears throat> but anyway so yeah I do, I do try to customize my workout so whatever the person is looking for that being said my youngest client is 11 um, my youngest client ever was eight or nine I want to say my oldest client right now is 87 so you just work with the people and figure out what their, you know, individual needs are and go from there. So it's more or less like specificity training. Absolutely. You know, sort of catered or tailored to the client. Towards what their goals exactly. are. Exactly. Oh, beautiful, exactly. beautiful. So. I to tell a lot of people you know, a lot of times, it's not about, like even when you're styling a client, it's not about what you like, it's about what they feel comfortable with. And same thing with workouts. That's what she's telling us. Now, this whole phenomenon with, uh, core training. Mm -hmm. You know, it seems like that's kind of taken on a life of its own in the say past like 15 years or so mm -hmm. when that was a it's lot tiny. about core exactly. You know, but it's but it's important. I mean, I came in here today and got my butt kicked. Yes, Honestly. absolutely. I'm a runner as well and I found that as soon as I started working on my core strength, I was able to run faster and I was able to run farther mm -hmm. with less effort. So, core is everything. That and you see so many Americans with low back pain. Mm -hmm. Um, strengthening your core can solve that. People mm -hmm. think that by resting they're going to you know, solve those problems, but actually strengthening those muscles and moving mm -hmm. makes the situation much better. Thank you for watching another episode of Hot Hip Happening and her kicking my butt. See you later. Peace.